Howdy y'all, welcome back to the Cowboy Slots channel. My name is Mark and between Brantley and I, we bring you over 20 years of experience working in the casino, talking to industry experts and getting the best knowledge and best education passed down to you to make you a better gambler. Now today we are at Windstar and we did a challenge here to see how long we can make $100 last. And we're gonna do this completely uncut. You're gonna see me walk from machine to machine, kind of my thought process, and I'm gonna do a lot of education along the way. So. Have your ears open and listen up because you might learn something. So let's go ahead and get started at Windsor. quarters we're gonna do 75 cents a spin here just getting the tripod all set up for you guys and let me zoom out and see if I can get the bingo card uh, it's really it's way up here you're probably not gonna be able to see it because the screen is a little dim but we'll give it a go here all right so I'm gonna put my hundred dollars in that's what we're starting with this is session number one we're gonna see if we can do it so on this one, we are going to try to get up to $125 or take it down to $50 and go play something else just to kind of keep things moving. So anyway, we're going to do three credits a bet, so $0.75 cents a spin. Let's see what we can do. All right, so there's 15 so far. And there's no sound in here. It's really loud in here. You can hear all the bells and craziness. That is wind stars, ladies and gentlemen. All right. And you see those diamonds up there? Uh, this is a diamond feature. Um, it, once it fills all the way up, you get to do a little pick bonus. But uh, word to the wise, like we've said earlier in another video, once it gets to this diamond, it takes a long time for that last one to light up. So don't get your hopes up thinking that it's close. Hey, look at that, 60 credits, all right. So let's see what that puts us up to, 112, 75, so almost halfway there. And then if we get to 125, we're gonna go play the dollar machines. And probably up our bet to about two dollars a spin. We are not trying to get to a hand pay in this session. We are just simply trying to uh, double our money to get up to two hundred bucks. And so, if we do get up to two hundred bucks, I will call this session a good one. And then, if you want to continue from there, you can. Um, but some people like to stop when they've doubled their money. I certainly do. It's a pretty good goal, right? You'll probably come back and gamble again, but you know, it's good to take a break, go do something else. So remember on these uh, class two machines, you're playing bingo with everybody else. So there's the bingo card up there. And uh, depending on uh, where you're playing at, there could be multiple games. It really depends on how many people are playing at the same time. If it gets really crowded, they may add a different bingo game. Uh, I've seen both here at Windstar. It really just depends. And uh, again, what people call these are red screens. And the reason they call them red screens is because you have the potential of when you get a win here on the bingo card to get a respin. And that simply means that you matched one more than one pattern on the bingo card on a single spin. All right, it looks like a good bingo card. Let's see if we can get something from it. Nope. They don't all win.
wish this one had sound. I like sound on my machines, but at Windstar, it's really hard to find the ones with the sound. All right, we got a red screen. Let's see what we got. All right, that wasn't too exciting. <laughs> so we got two patterns here. We got the open diamond and we got the inside diamond. So we had two matches there, but that wasn't uh, too big there. And yeah, you're gonna see uh, near hits a lot on uh, bingo style machines, especially with the sevens and the double symbol. You're gonna see that a lot. Again, the reels are just for entertainment purposes only. That was the first win in a while here. We're definitely on the way down. But we will hold true and uh, get out of here at $50 and go play something else. I try something that is not a class two game and I will take you with me so you can see how I kind of pick which machines I want to play next. All right, another cherry and uh, guys just keep in mind that uh, you know this strategy is built off of money management not putting all your entire bankroll in all at the same time you know taking a break walking around there's a decent win, so we got 40 credits on that one. All right, so 10 bucks. We can never guarantee anything. There's still slot machines. They're gonna do what they're gonna do. It's all about the luck of the press of the button. But our methods are focused around, oh, we got red screen, so let's see if we can do something better here. Okay, a little better. So we got 30 credits for that. And then 15 credits for the mixed bars. So we're getting back up to the 100 here. Anyway, what I was saying is our methods are built around, you know, just watching your bankroll and picking the right machines too in the right denomination based on your bankroll. You don't want to start off high. You don't want to go into the high limit room and start doing damage inside of there because your money can go really fast and we don't want to see that happen. So start slow. Don't get impatient. Just work your way up slowly. And sometimes you'll get it, sometimes you won't. But the one thing that we can guarantee is that using these methods uh, will get you to play a lot longer. Um, we've had a lot of testimonials from people that have said that. Even if they don't win, they're having a lot of fun because they're not blowing their bankroll so fast and they're not uh, picking the wrong games to play, that type of thing. And the reason I kind of like these class two uh, bingo style machines here is because they're all the same like it, it doesn't matter which one you're playing you're playing bingo against everybody else uh, I mean some of them are different with their pay tables and things like that some have more respins etc um, there are some differences but overall the payback percentage is pretty much exactly the same regardless of machine that you're playing and regardless of denomination you're playing so it's pretty consistent and we like consistency on this channel so I know I'm talking a lot, but we're trying to educate you guys at the same time. And I'm just trying to pass the time for there being no music on this one <laughs> or no sound. All right, we're still hovering around our starting amount here. So we're, we're hanging in there, we're doing okay. We haven't dropped all the way to zero. That's always good. All right, we got a step ladder there. So 30 credits. We're just trying to inch our way up to the 125 mark.
And if you want to see a good explanation of bingo style machines, at the end of this video, we will put up a card uh, to a video that we did where we explain everything about bingo style machines, or at least most of the basic stuff. There is some pretty advanced stuff to get to. Uh, maybe we'll do that in a future video, but we wanted to keep it really basic just so you guys understand what is really going on uh, with the bingo card and the bingo server. See that tease? You're gonna see that a lot. Okay, we just started a new bingo game, new bingo call out here. And a lot of people ask us, is there any difference in starting uh, playing when it's at the beginning of the cycle or at the end of the cycle? Uh, there's not any difference uh, because the way that bingo patterns uh, are calculated is based on the number of uh, balls that have been called. And so there's really no advantage to starting late or starting early. Uh, just like with regular slot machines, there's no way to manipulate these or to be able to tell when a win is coming, for example. Stick to the stuff that we're talking about here. Budget control. Staying away from those locket links and high volatility games. Unless you have the bankroll to do it. That's the only time to really tackle those. Alright, so we got one more diamond to go up here. But as I said before, it's going to take a long time for that to show up. <laughs> Probably run out of money before we do that. All right, we're definitely on the way downhill here. So a good hit would be nice. I'll take that. sometimes you just need to pick machines that you're feeling you know you just it looks good it's quiet there's nobody next to you shouting and going crazy you know as long as it's a good machine to play not high in volatility sit down and try it just stick to your budget set your rules and stop when you're supposed to stop So someone on the other side has found one with uh, music, so <laughs> I should have sat down to that one, right? All right, we're getting down to our 50 pretty quick here. We did hang in quite a long time on this one. Got another red screen. Let's get a good one this time. No, we didn't. So we got 21 credits on that one. And I know we get a lot of comments about putting the bingo card in the uh, camera shot here, but in this one, it's just impossible. Uh, to film all that at once because it's like I said it's way up in the corner here but we'll find another one where it's a little bit lower yeah. 
All right, we're down to our uh, last couple spins here. All right, two more spins and we're gonna cash out. And last spin. All right, we got saved on the last spin, all right. We'll see how long it lasts, right? <laughs> All right, two, uh, yeah, two more spins. Last spin. Ah, right, we got saved again. <laughs> Guys, it's just a coincidence. There's nothing going on there, I promise you. Just a coincidence. It seems that way sometimes, but it's not by design. It doesn't know that I'm stopping at uh, $50. All right, well, it did it again. <laughs> Guys, don't look for patterns. <laughs> I know what you're saying. I do know what you're saying. I feel you. But we know how these things work and that's not how they work. Every spin is completely separate. It doesn't take into account what's happened before. It doesn't know how many credits you have in the machine. All right, last spin again. All right, so it didn't save us this time, so let's cash out. We'll go find another game. I might end up at another class two game, but I just want to kind of take a break here. See what else is over here. Maybe we can find one with sound. All right, let's walk around here. So definitely not gonna play some wonderful, wonderful tall fortunes. We're gonna skip that. All right, let's see what we got. All right, we got some Ainsworths over here, uh, but they don't have any of the games that I like, so I'm gonna skip that. Um, actually, I do know where we could go. Oh, I like these. I like Rich and Wild. That's my wife's favorite. Looks like it's only on this middle one. So let's give it a shot here. See what we can make happen. So we'll put our $50 ticket in. Yeah, let me zoom in on this one. This one's going to be a little harder to record, but I'm going to do my best here. Get it down. We're just trying to keep it uncut for you guys. All right, so we're gonna do uh, Rich and Wild. Now here's a pro tip again. There's a one cent, two cent, and five cent, okay? If you can afford it, go to the five cent, but just do the minimum amount on it. So I'm gonna do uh, 50 pay lines at one credit bet. So that should be $2.50 to spend. You know what, that is a little too steep. So I'm gonna go down to two cents, and let's just do a dollar a spin and see what happens. So 50, pay lines and one credit per pay line. Let's see what we can do on a dollar a spin here. Maybe we'll hit the major or minor, wouldn't that be insane, right? As I always say, stranger things have happened. Ten cents, <laughs> whopping ten cents. All right, so we got two dollars now, so that's the first win. And what we're looking for is uh, three of the little symbols. I'll let you know what they look like when they show up here. That. So we need three of those, and we got it. Look at that. I called it into existence. <laughs> All right, let's see what we can do here. So in this bonus round, it's kind of interesting. So there's gonna be uh, a symbol that looks like this over here, rich and wild. If that appears on reel one and reel five in the same spin, then any future wilds, which are these pyramids that you get in the middle will lock. Uh, so it can get kind of exciting. All right, let's do it right off the bat. We did, that's good, that's what you want. So now these are gonna lock. And I got a re-trigger, so I think this is going to be a good bonus, guys. 
We'll see though. We just need to get more of these uh, pyramids to stack up. They can only do it in two, three, and four here. Can we re-trigger it again? No, but we got more pyramids. That's good. All right, so we're up to 10 bucks. Re-trigger it? No, but we got another pyramid. We just need those two in the middle, then we're really gonna have a good time here. There it is, all right. That's good. You just get that last one, then every, every spin's gonna be really good, at least a four of a kind. All right. Still got seven spins left. We're up to $32. And we did it. Awesome. All right, so six spins with everything held in the middle. $45. All right, that's good. I don't think that's a pay line down here with the birds. All right, we're up to $62. Guys, that was on a $1 bet. All right, come on birdies. Okay. We still haven't got any five and a kinds yet. That's what you really want. Come on birds. All right, I don't think that's a pay line either. 50 pay lines is pretty confusing, so I'm not really sure. Up to 103 here. Birds? Okay. We did get the kings, several lines. 123. Retrigger it. Oh, uh, wouldn't that have been something? Guys, excellent bonus here. I think we might have doubled our money up to 200. Or at least very, very close. Yes, 173. Okay. Well, I'm gonna play this until we get to 150. That was a really good bonus. Obviously, right? On a dollar, on a dollar bet, guys. We got a uh, little over $130. Really good. One more, do it again. Oh. So if you're going for a hand pay, that would have been a good time to up your bet. But I'm simply just trying to see if I can inch over the 200 mark here. So I don't want to go crazy. All right, five more spins. Unless we get some wins here. One more. Oh. All right, two more spins on this. And last spin. All right, well, we did good there, of course. Uh, we basically got 100 bucks out of this machine because we started with 50. So we're gonna cash out and we're gonna move on to something else. And I think I know what I'm gonna do. I just need to find one. And I do see something over here, so let's go over here and take a look. All right, it looks like they're uh, occupied. So let's do, uh, let's do this one here. It's a five liner, 25 cent. Mr. Moneybags, another class two bingo machine. And this one, the uh, bingo card is a little bit easier to see, so you guys may be able to see this. Now, the screen's not very good, but... All right, so let's put the 150 in here. 
All right, so the max bet on this one is 625, but we're not going to do that. Uh, let's do $2.50 a spin since we're up a little bit. Uh, so that's 10 credits at 25 cents. So let's uh, let's take this down to 100 and then reevaluate what we're going to do from there. How's that? Well, that's a good start. So 52. All right, so we're up to 161.22. This one has the bells, but still no sound. good start but we don't want to go down from there I see it's got its T's on already all right so this one will be fun to get the uh, red screen on because you have five pay lines could be a lot of fun to see so far, not getting any good cards, though. We'll see what happens. All right, down to 109. Single cherry. Well, it started us off good. All right, we got a red screen. Let's see what we can do here. Okay, it's still going. Still going. All right, that was okay, not great. But it did get us up a little bit. back So this is the last spin that we we're going to reevaluate on. All right, so we started with 100. Uh, we've kind of gone up and down here a little bit. I'm going to stay on this game, uh, but I'm going to go back down to five. Uh, so it's going to be $1.25 a spin. And let's take it down to $80, and then we'll reevaluate there. I hope you guys can see the bingo card. It's really hard to see what the yellow numbers are, the highlighted numbers, just because the screen quality is uh, just bad on these. I'm trying. I know you guys left some comments about it. It's just difficult to film sometimes.
Okay, we're getting close to our $80 mark here. Keeping us alive. Ah, one more, right? <laughs> that was a good looking bingo card too. All right, last spin. All right, let's cash out. Let's go uh, walk where we were before. So let's go walk around a little bit. Let's go back here. So funny story real quick, uh, we actually had a power outage here uh, at Windstar. We were actually up in the room, we were not down here playing, but uh, this is a tech nightmare right here. Uh, a lot of machines did not come up. So there are techs everywhere on this floor, like there's another one that's broken because uh, of the power outage. It's just these things are so sensitive sometimes. So let's walk over here. I think I want to try these new quick hits over here. As long as nobody's playing. Yep, we have a creepy guy just sitting there, not doing anything, hogging the machine. It's one of my pet peeves. All right, let's look back here. Still not seeing anything. We're definitely not playing $25 machines. <laughs> not today. We are low budgeting. You know what? I know what I'm gonna play over here. Let's try a dollar machine. Yes, we got a lucky ducky over here, it's a dollar. Let's go take a look at that. Here we go. Oh, that's got a bill validator error. They all have bill validator errors, okay. Well, let's see what the other side looks like. This has a DBA error, real malfunction. <laughs> it's power outage city over here, guys. Well, uh, let's, let's walk over here. Got screen slappers. Oh, there's some dollar ones over here. Sorry, I know you guys are going nuts. Yeah, I was about to sit down to that one and somebody sat down. All right, here we go. Are two dollar ones, huh? Never seen a three dollar denomination, that's interesting. All right, let's play this one in the end down here. Nobody's on this one. All right, I'm gonna put my eighty dollars in. We're gonna do uh, two dollars a spin on this. Not gonna be able to get the bingo card on this one, guys. Well, yeah, there we go. Okay, Let's do two a spin. Yeah. So what we're trying to do, uh, we're gonna go ahead and run this through here. 
and either run it through or get it up to the 100 that I started with. Let's do that. I don't think we're going to be able to double up unless we get some kind of miracle hit here. Okay, got a new bingo call out here. Got a red screen. Let's see what we can do. All right, so we got twenty-four dollars on that one. All right, we got another red screen. All right, pretty much the same as last time. We're inching back up there. I am. Hey, how's it going? Very nice. Very yeah. nice to meet you. You're Sorry. one of your uh, No, no, you're good. Sorry oh, to interrupt. Sorry. Oh, no, you're fine. Sorry to interrupt it. No, I think I have a chip for you guys. All right, nice to meet a fan there. All right, where were we? We're doing two bets here. Maybe they brought me some luck here. Good looking card there, yep. So we got a uh, respin. See what we get out of it. Still going. All right, it's okay. Put us back in the game here. Getting some pretty bad cards here. This one looks okay, but no. There's a lot of numbers, so it's, it's difficult. bucks for that. Oh, that's a good looking card there. Let's see if we get some. Nope. And the reason I said it was a good looking card is because there was a lot of numbers filled in, highlighted. Now it doesn't guarantee anything because you still have to match the numbers down here, but it's usually a good indication that something could happen. That's another good looking one there. Nope. Are you done with this? 
That's not mine. You take Thank you. All right, we're heading down the down to the dumps here. That's okay. That's a good card, mostly filled in, but nope. And they will look more filled in the more, you know, numbers that have been called here. But still, I get excited when I see a card that's mostly full. Because it's a pretty good indication that you're gonna get some kind of win. And I always look for the patterns that, uh, like the ones that pay often, like the Lucky Ducky and things like that, inside corners, got private stripes that time. Oh, that's an ugly card. Definitely not getting anything on that. This one either. Oh no, I didn't see the private stripes. I was blind. Good card. Down the last eight dollars here. And last bit. Alright, no luck. Let's cash out our 47 cents and let's go chat about uh, the session here. Go find a quiet corner and uh, kind of evaluate what we did here. All right, guys, so I had to redo the intro and the outro of this video because it was really noisy, even though I found that quiet corner. Uh, but I wanted to make sure you guys heard uh, what was actually going on and how we wrapped this thing up. So, as you can tell, we didn't win. We ended up losing our hundred dollars, but we played for almost 50 minutes, almost an hour on a hundred bucks, and had a lot of entertainment and fun along the way, as well as earning some more comps and tier credits. What's wrong with that? So it's not always gonna work and it's important that you realize that, but you can see that if you take it easy and you take those breaks and you set those limits when you sit down on the machine and you're picking the right machines at the start, you will end up doing better overall. Now the next time we're up at Winstar, we're gonna do another $100 challenge and see if we can make that one work. We almost got to it. We got to around $173 and listen, if you're comfortable with that, my goal was 200 bucks, if you're happy with the 175 and you want to stop there, do it, okay? Go home a winner. You've, you're $75 up. That's great. That was not my personal goal. I was trying to get to the 200. It didn't work out, but I'm okay with that because I budgeted 100 bucks, and that's how long it lasted, and I was happy with that. So anyway, guys, I hope you learned something. I hope you had some fun. I know it was a long video, but I wanted you to see the entire process and kind of how we deal with the casino when we go into gamble okay guys we appreciate your uh watching as, as well as the subscription if you love this kind of stuff we do these things all the time as well as the thumbs up so guys 
Take it easy, be safe, good luck out there, and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Check out these other videos and be sure to subscribe to the channel for more slot tips. It's always free. Visit ropethejackpot.com for free guides and a whole lot more. Catch you on the next episode.